Well, the time has come to sell the La Pavoni. This video is for the eBay auction I have going for this machine. Uh, let me give you some details and cover everything about the uh, equipment here. Uh, this is the La Pavoni Europicola pre-millennium version. Uh, I'm the second or third owner of this machine. I believe it was produced somewhere in the 1980s, as near as I can determine. Uh, this machine has the two-stage heating switch on off and then also the high and low switch for uh, extracting espresso as well as steaming milk. Uh, as you can see from some of the other videos I have on YouTube, I've been through this machine extensively to repair it, upgrade it, and clean it. Uh, let me cover some of the upgrades first. Uh, it has a, a new uh, higher quality plastic handle than the uh, original factory one. I have some stainless steel allen head bolts here to hold the group head to the boiler uh, which require drilling or tapping out a little bit further in the threads. Uh, this gives a, a little bit more secure attachment of the group head to the boiler which is nice. Uh, the machine has the single hole steam tip on it. Uh, it also, as you can see, includes the original three hole steam tip from La Pavoni. The, I've modified the pressure relief valve so that it is now adjustable using an allen head uh, screw. Uh, this is nice because it allows you to fine tune the pressure and the temperature in the boiler. The machine has uh, bronze bushings that I installed into the back of the lever. Uh, this provides for better wear on the rear pin. Uh, let me see what else. I guess, uh, well, as you can see, everything is in excellent condition. Um, there's nothing broken or cracked. The, the steam wand functions fine. Uh, the little uh, boiler knob here is in excellent shape. I've cleaned everything on the unit from top to bottom, inside and out. The uh, dispersion screen and the piston are all in excellent condition. They have Everything has new gaskets on it. I recently installed a new O-ring for the group head. Uh, unlike a lot of the ones you see sold on the internet, uh, I used the square profile one, which provides a far superior seal with the portafilter edge of the portafilter basket. Uh, also included are two replacements, and the one that's in here is, is effectively brand new. It's just a month or two old. Um, let's see, there's also a fresh clip that holds the little ceiling gasket inside here for the uh, group head piston rod. And the machine basically functions perfectly. There's nothing much left to do to it. The unit has a naked portafilter, which I cut myself and polished. It came out uh, beautifully, as you can see here. Uh, I've also installed a stainless steel stud to hold the handle onto the portafilter head. Uh, the original La Pavoni one has a bad habit of rusting when water gets into there. Uh, just for decoration, I put a nice little brass uh, bushing there as well. The machine comes with a uh, double shot basket, as you can see here. It's in good condition. Uh, here's the original logo, which I, I took off the machine when I polished the housing. I just never got around to putting it back on. Uh, let's see, as mentioned, there's the original steam, three-hole steam tip, a couple extra uh, O-ring gaskets for the group head, uh, spare bronze bushings that go into the back of the lever here. Uh, there's some extra E-clips, which hold the cross pins in. Uh, there's an extra uh, E-clip here, which is for, in case you need to replace the gasket that uh, seals this rod. Uh, here's the some Allen wrenches that I'll throw in. One is to adjust the pressure if needed on the pressure regulator. The other one is to remove the Allen head screws right here in case you need to service the group head or anything. Uh, also included is a approximately $100 custom made uh, Reg Barber tamper. Uh, it's got the rosewood and the black uh, logo on top. This one is stainless steel. It, uh, as you may be able to see, it has the C flat profile, which is a, basically a flat main area and a slight slant right here, which is uh, to provide a little bit better sealing around the edges and, and uh, prevent channeling during extraction. Uh, this 
tamper is 49.6 millimeters in diameter, uh, which is the measurement that I made on this uh, basket using uh, some digital calipers. As a result, it has a near perfect interference fit. Uh, when you tamp the coffee down, it makes a, a, a wonderful puck and seals against the edges. You do not have uh, coffee coming out of the side as you would with a, a safe a 49 millimeter tamper. So this is made for this machine and it is included uh, like I say that's about a hundred dollars as I recall uh, the original box is included as well. I think that covers pretty much everything about the machine. Like I say I've been completely through it uh, all the gaskets are in excellent condition uh, everything functions as it should makes uh, great espresso. It does take a little bit of time to learn how to operate the machine, but once you do, it will make a really great espresso. And uh, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me via my email address or on eBay. Um, I will also post some photographs, uh, and if anyone has any specific uh, photos they would like or questions, please let me know. Uh, also, the packing, I will make sure that it's uh, packed securely and uh, that way when it arrives to its new owner, everything will be in great shape. Okay, thank you for viewing the video and taking a look at the auction.